Hey everyone, this is my 12 volt endless breeze fan by Fantastic Vent. And I use it for camping, other people use it for off grid, uh, whatever. But sorry, it's that's as far as my camera can go. So yeah, it's not actually that big. I think it's like 14 inches or 12 inches, something like that. But the modification we're gonna do today is the fan control on it. it has off one, two, and three. That's all you got on it. And I like having a little more variability to it. And a lot of the people on those forums, the renewable forums, the RV forums, they do the PWM mod. So I'm going to try a slightly different unit out today and see if we can fit it in there. Okay, so I got the front and back off of it. And you can see it's nothing more than basically a fan. The wire comes in through the side here, runs up through the back. If I flip it on over, you can see the wire runs on up and comes on up to the fan control, which is honestly nothing more that low and medium are two different resistor coils. That's all it is. And high is full on power. And that dumps directly into the fan. It's just a two wire DC fan with brushes. So this is what we're gonna change out today. So first let's get this out of here. There we go. And undo the positive. There we go. And it actually had a third tap, which God knows what the heck that was for. But uh, and then, of course, it's got the uh, diode for reverse current. When you turn it off, it doesn't backflow into whatever device you have running it. But as you can see, it is nothing more than two coils. That's all it is. And a switch. High amperage switch, but still a switch. So, yeah, let's uh, see if we can fit this in there. Okay, for this unit, we have the regular knob, which I'll probably replace it with their knob because it's nice and big. But uh, it's nothing more than a 100 kilo ohm trim pot, potentiometer, pick your poison. But it's got that, um, two inputs, two outputs, positive, negative, positive, negative. It's got a fuse sitting right here, fairly beefy one, because I think this thing is rated for, hold on one second, I'll tell you, it is rated for. Crap, come on. 20 amps. This is a 20 amp motor uh, controller. And this thing on its regular controller on full tilt will probably pull maybe three, three and a half amps if you're really going crazy with it. So yeah, this is overkill. But there's two reasons why I picked this. One, the working voltage on this is anywhere from 10 to 90 volts. So that makes the 12 volt fan technically work on any system that's out there, even up to a 48 volt system, no problems whatsoever. The second and more important thing is reason why I picked this is its switching frequency is 25 kilohertz. Therefore, you're not going to get a hum out of the motor as this thing PWMs on and off. It's not in the audible range. That is a big thing. Other cheaper ones that only do like three or five amps, they switch between 10 to 15 kilohertz. So you might get a real high pitch hum out of this. The thing already has its own little hum from the brushes and just the way this motor is designed. Let's not add to it. So lengthwise, it's definitely not going to fit. But if we go this way, it will definitely fit. So we're going to have to cut out this rib. Okay, and a few seconds later and a quick jigsaw. Yep, there goes that little piece right there. So now we can easily fit that in there. My question is, will it fit once I put this in there? So let me try putting this in there. Give it that. And Positive. Nice and secure. Okay, now we gotta get power to it. 
which again, we're going to have to splice. So I guess I should have left it out because this wire, even this one's kind of short too. No, this one's positive. Okay, so this connector is positive. Because I don't believe that this controller has reverse polarity protection, so you got to make sure you know what you're doing. That's the point. That's why I double checked anyway. I wasn't sure. Okay, all heat shrinks. So now we can connect it. And there's power positive. Get in there. No walking out. Okay. Now we get to shove this whole thing back in here. Okay, so we got the whole unit mounted. All the wires ran on over. This one's kind of loose a little bit, but we'll put a little bit of super glue on it or something like that. So let's put both covers back on and give it a shot and see what it does. Okay, so I got it fully assembled. The fan you're hearing right now, if you do hear, is my power supply all the way off this side here because I'm using my benchtop power supply for testing right now. And right now I have it set for 14 volts and up to, stay, 5 amps. And I put the original knob back on here so you can see. And I have the full range. So let's see what we can do here. Perfectly smooth, just barely turning. And we're pulling 40 milliamps right now. A half a watt. That's it. And she'll start spinning. You couldn't do that with the original. And you have infinite speed control now. That's three watts at a quarter of an amp. That's okay. That's 600 milliamps at eight and a half watts. Let's see what one amp does. One amp, yeah, 14 watts. Come on, right there. Not bad at all. It speeds up a little bit when I bring it away because it doesn't have a load on it. That is nice. I'm only like half cranked, a little bit more than half cranked right now. Let's go full bore. There's full bore. Oh yeah, blowing stuff away. Um, yeah, that's about the equivalency of the original high speed. Uh, 45 watts, 3.27 amps at 14 volts. And when you have the fan actually off, well, there is no on off button, but when you have it turned off all the way, wait for the fan blade to stop. It's pulling maybe 10 milliamps. I got zero, I got 0 0.01 amps on my meter, which is 10 milliamps. So this thing pulls practically nothing in an off state. So here's another thing, which is good, because you see how this always says 12 volt only. If you ran on 24 volts, you would overvolt a motor and you completely kill it type of deal. Well, now that we're running PWM, that doesn't matter. So let's change the voltage on here to 28 volts. Oh, that's interesting. I just went up to 28 volts. I didn't turn this, but it's getting ever so slightly a bit of power to the motor. And it's pulling about 30 milliamps. But now the difference is I'm only making maybe quarter of the way of the throttle. You don't get as good as a fine tune and you definitely could not crank it up on 28 volts, but you could still run it safely on 28 volts, 30 volts, probably even 48, although my power supply doesn't go up that high, so I can't really test it. But the higher your voltage is, the less you can turn this knob to get speed control, but you can still run this at higher voltages now, safely. And as you can tell, the only hum that's coming from this is the original hum from the motor itself. We're not getting any PWM noise from it at all. So there you go. That is a cheap, inexpensive mod for this fan that makes it so much more versatile. Considering 
even on one sometimes I wanted to slow it down even more. It didn't even need to be at the speed of one. I can do that now with this fan. And it only cost me $11 for that fan controller Alpha Amazon. So I'll leave a link down below in the description for that speed controller if you want to take a look at it. Thumbs up, please. And I'll see you next video. Thanks. Thank you.